is up y'all i'm dan from tiger arcade and someone posed the question how do you clock sync your moog sound studio to your daw no one ever posts videos about that so i hope this video can address that very same thing because when i first got mine that was a concern of mine as well. I was like, wait, there's no USB in my sound studio. And that's how I traditionally clock synced everything to my DAW, my digital audio workstation. So let's address some of that. The easiest way that I have found to clock sync my sound studio is by using an audio interface that has MIDI in and out on the back and USB. So let me break that down. Um, USB, you'll connect this to your computer. And then from your computer, you'll choose this as the input device so that you can record into it. And then from there, you wanna make this the MIDI device sending MIDI out. Cause on the back, you have MIDI. You will utilize this MIDI out to the MIDI in. You have two devices that have MIDI in on the Moog Sound Studio. That is the Subharmonicon and the Mother 32. You're gonna wanna choose which one you want to be the master clock, the one receiving, you know, that tempo. And so from there you will patch out to your other sound studio synthesizers. So they will be clock synced to the master clock. And for me, let's just say Mother 32. Mother 32 is going to be the main one connected to uh, my DAW, but realistically, it's actually connected to my audio interface. And I actually purchased this one in particular. It's the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD. I purchased this because it had the MIDI in and MIDI out. My original did not. I had the Focusrite Scarlet Solo Studio and the, the Focusrite one that I had didn't have uh, MIDI on the back. So what I did, there is another workaround. This is the second way that you can do this, or it could be your first, whatever. <laughs> Use a keyboard that has USB. Um, for example, right now I'm holding the Arturia Keystep. Okay, the Arturia Keystep on the back has USB, so you can make this the master clock the master device sending it from your computer to this and then using the midi out also you don't have to do that this is something else that i've done is you can patch into this using sync um, using cv controls so um, you could use this you can use another synthesizer um, I've also tried doing that with the Moog Matriarch. I've done it with my Korg Minilog XD. I don't find that the CV option is good when using it with a DAW. You know, you can get good DAWless, you know, playing out of that. But when you're trying to sync it to your DAW, you want to hit record, you want to go. You know, I find sometimes things don't match up correctly. So those are some different ways that you can go about doing that. It's going to be different for every DAW user. I use Logic Pro X. Others might use, you know, Ableton, whatever it is that you guys use, there's going to be a different format, a different approach. Generally speaking, what you want to do is you want to set up, if you're going to use an audio interface, you want to set that audio up interface up as your input device so that you can record into it into your DAW and then you want to set it up as the MIDI device as well for sending MIDI out it's kind of the same format with this route uh, you don't have to set this up as the input device because it's not receiving audio but you would set it up as the MIDI device and on the back you just flip the switches to MIDI. It's different for every device, you know, on my Moog Matriarch. My uh, computer recognizes it once I plug it in USB and then set it up as the MIDI master clock. And then I send the MIDI out to my Moog Sound Studio. Take your pick. 
I also have the Tascam Model 12 right here. That is the um, audio interface I'm using right now. It also has MIDI out capabilities and gives me multiple channels. So take your pick. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. We will end on that note. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Peace.